Ford here with Boxing King Media, joined by Hopi Will Price in Leeds. First and foremost, we were sat there watching that fight. Fire fest of, I think it was six rounds after at the end. Six, seven rounds? Seven, I think seven rounds. Uh, instant reaction, Josh Warrington, two time world champion. You know, uh, another brilliant performance. You know, um, he was stuck beside me and he started very fast. You know, I thought it was going to be over within in the first one or two. Credit to Kiko, you know, um, even with the cut, even with his, his legs going. Um, he, he showed a tremendous start to stay in there and um, he done well but I always felt after them the first two rounds it was only a matter of time you know I think every time Josh landed with a big big shot his, his legs started to go so um, yeah brilliant performance Coming into it obviously we've seen Josh go through a pretty difficult ride in the last few years was there any doubt in your mind with you know the weight making etc that maybe he should be moving up? Um, probably not so much the weight making but um, I think mentally it'll definitely been hard for him you know I think um, Look, look how big he is here in this town, you know, to, to first lose behind closed doors, I boxed that night and I, and I seen how it was, and then also I, I boxed on the same night in Headley, you know, and I think um, everyone really thought that he was going to win that rematch and everyone come out from sporting and to have it end with a cut, he must have been in, in, in a pretty, I wouldn't say dark place, but like it, it, mentally it definitely affected him, so um, to be mentally strong and come out here, boxing straight back into another world title fight in front of all his own fans, uh, uh, it, a big well done to him, you know, I think uh, it's, a, it's a credit to him and uh, that's why I call, call him the lead warrior. Yeah. And at the end, we saw Lee Wood step up to the ring. There were a lot of respect between the two, but I know you know both pretty well. You've, you've shared some good moments with both. Who wins that fight, Hopi? You know what? It's one of them. I've got to sit on the fence of that one, you know. Um, I'm from the same town as Josh Ron, you know. I, I know him well and uh, Lee Wood, I know him very well, you know. I've sparred numerous rounds with Lee Wood, but... Um, for me, it's a wicked fight, and I, I think they definitely should make that fight. You know, I prefer to see that fight than to to go over to the stage. You know, I box someone like Santa Cruz, who's who, who's never boxed in a long time. You know, um, I think they're both coming off good wins. Obviously, Lee would come off that that comeback knockout. Yeah. He's just not Kiko out. So, um, I believe they've both got big football followings behind them. You know, it'd be a be a wicked fight, a wicked atmosphere, and a, a real pick and fight. You know, I think the the experience and the the work rate and things lies with Josh Ronton, but. Can he walk through Lee Wood's power? That's the question. Obviously, Lee and you, like you said, shared rounds, etc. But it must be inspiring to see where he's come from to now have this incredible rise in the boxing world, world champion, and, and potentially getting a fight at the city ground. It must inspire you, even though your career is already on a good run. Definitely, you know, um, to see the sort of fighters that, that I'm around day in, day out, and, and week in, week out. Look, uh, Jordan Gill won the European title. Terrific comeback. Lee Wood, the same again when it's not going your way pulls out the bag again stays in there like the two two warriors and uh, for me to be around them and as well as they know and I know what I'm capable of as well sharing the ring with them two fighters uh, it gives me great inspiration and confidence because I know where I am at this level and, and I'm, I'm only 20, just turned 22 years of age so I believe in the next few years I can get, get there where they are and I can be filling this arena out and winning world titles as well Speaking about that, I know we spoke about your injury. Uh, you were meant to fight tonight, didn't happen. Uh, when can we next expect you out? Um, recovery's going well. Um, hopefully within the next two weeks I can start ticking over again. So um, possibly without pushing that, I reckon June. Um, I might have been ready for the end of May, but there's not many shows available. So June, I say, I'll definitely be ready and firing all cylinders. So um, if Eddie can get me a title fight, put it on the Joshua Bill. Awesome. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much.